On average, over 8,000 people die each year in the U.S. because they can't get an organ transplant. But what if we could actually rebuild our failing organs? That possibility of creating anything you want from home could be just around the corner with a 3D printer. What is 3D printing? What is 3D bioprinting? And how many of us are using 3D printers? This is What If, and here's what would happen if every home had a 3D printer. Could we become superhuman and live forever? Right now, our bodies face the possibility of breaking down. But what if we could wipe out that risk by creating medical devices that can help us, like hearing aids, pacemakers, or new dentures? Imagine if we could actually bioprint our vital organs. First off, what is 3D printing? 3D printing is a manufacturing process that takes a digital file known as a computer-aided design, or CAD, and brings that 3D model to life. The most common 3D printing process is known as Fused Deposit Modeling, or FDM. It works the same way as your standard inkjet printer, except instead of ink, it uses thermoplastic material, which gets pushed through a nozzle like a hot glue gun. A spool of filament is loaded into a printer and gets heated up. It keeps layering 2D cross-sections in thin horizontal lines that sit atop one another until you end up with a solid three-dimensional object. So, what is 3D bioprinting? It's the creation of living tissues, such as blood vessels, bone, heart cells, skin cells, or cartilage. Imagine what 3D bioprinting could do for organ donations. In 2019, in the US, there were more than 100,000 people on waiting lists for organ transplants. The average wait time for a kidney is between three and five years. Scientists hope that someday soon, they'll be able to bioprint a kidney. All they'll require is a sample of your blood to create one in six to eight weeks. Imagine the lives this would save. Advances in this biotechnology would allow us to eliminate testing on animals. Instead, we could use three-dimensional living tissue, which would be more accurate when conducting medical studies. Dying of old age could be eliminated. When certain parts of your body start to deteriorate, you could swap them out. Lungs, heart, liver, whatever you desire. Just replace them every 20 years or sooner if needed, like upgrading to the newest version of an iPhone. What would happen if every home had a 3D printer? How would your life change? You wake up in the morning, log into your computer and type pancakes. Minutes later, your breakfast is printed and ready. Now, what should I wear today? A new shirt it is. Next, shoes. Perfect. Then, you drive to work in your 3D printed car. 3D printing would allow us to create anything we dream of. A one-stop Amazon shop right under your own roof. In the U.S. alone, there are approximately 126 million households. And in 2018, two out of every 1,000 homes had a 3D printer. It'll be years before 3D printing is feasible in the average home. But imagine if they became affordable for the average consumer. Retailers could be removed from the economic equation, with consumers choosing to print virtually anything they want. The 3D printing industry is rapidly growing, despite the fact that less than 1% of global manufacturers currently use this technology. 
In 2019, the market grew to over $10.4 billion, crossing the double-digit billion threshold for the first time in its nearly 40-year history. The 3D printing market is set to double in size every three years, with an annual growth forecasted between 18% and 27%. What would the impact be on the environment? 3D printing would create less need for transportation and distribution, resulting in a smaller carbon footprint. Finally, a well-deserved break from Mother Earth. Well, maybe not. 3D printing currently relies primarily on plastics that produce toxic byproducts and fumes. It also requires a lot of energy. Some 3D printing processes call for 50 to 100 times more electricity than traditional injection molding methods to make an object of equal weight. What would crime look like in the 3D printing world? What's to stop someone from 3D printing illegal drugs, weapons, or bootleg products? Governments would have to impose restrictions on a tool that could provide endless possibilities. But before you get too excited, the reality of every home having a 3D printer as a common household item is doubtful. The cost of materials is still expensive and the skill required to make and assemble finished objects is high. Similar to the prediction of everyone having flying cars, we likely have a long road ahead of us. Well, perhaps, but that's a story for another What If. <laughs>